What up, world? Welcome back to another episode of. Let me see if I can get this correct. Uh, let me uh, let me think about it first because I don't want to keep saying it wrong. Wait, you know, let me let me let me make sure I get this correct. Hey, hey, let me, wait, wait. I'm trying to I'm trying to I'm trying to say this the right way before y'all jump in. Hold on a second. Let me make sure I'm saying this. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, around the world, all the way from Northern Cali, Southern Cali, to Vegas, to Texas, to Georgia, to Ukraine, Cape Town, Africa, all the way to my new home to be, Brazil. Welcome to another episode of, <coughs> let me see, Bate Un Popo. I've been practicing. That's right. I've been practicing. That's right. I have been practicing. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome, welcome, welcome. We have got the dynamic duo themselves today from Brazil. I love saying Brazil that way. Just because I heard it said like that in Fast and Furious. But, you know, it is what it is. Uh, first of all, to the both of you, happy Valentine's Day from Northern Cali up here, yes, up here in Shadow Mento. You know, uh, how, how's the day treating y'all? The day, uh, it's been productive. Como nos dio mucho. Oh, muito bom dia. Hoje foi... Maravilhoso, gente, namorado. Boa, né? So, he says it's Valentine's Day, of course, it's Valentine's wonderful. Day. That is, that, 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 I have got to learn to talk Portuguese. I swear to God I got to learn that, because that language right there is so cool sounding, it's ridiculous. But, uh, you know, I see, ooh, we got, we little dressed up and everything today. We, we, okay, I see you. I yeah. see you. Okay. We got I, the red. I see you. Here. Let me go ahead and slide this over. Hold on. I love it. I love it. Uh, so, so, Mr. Uh, well, well, you know, I got to wait for my interpreter to get back. Right, sorry, I mean, it's hot here in Brazil, right? So, we've got a fan going on, but it is taken away from your voice. It's taken away from my voice? Yeah, yeah. So, we just turned off the fan here yeah. so we can hear you better. Well, 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 we, we're going to have to talk because you said it was like 95 or something back then with humidity? Yeah. That ain't, that ain't fun. Yeah, it, we're in our summer. That ain't, that ain't fun. Because uh, we, we haven't really had our uh, winter here in California yet either. So trust me, I understand your pain. So uh, last night, last night was fun. Yeah, last night was fun. We, we gave them a little conversation on how, you know, we're doing the world takeover starting in Brazil with this, with this great show here, Bate Un Popo. I keep saying that. Bate un papo. Oh, okay, I'm trying. <laughs> I'm working on it. Got the homie Masao right there. Mi Misao. 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 Yeah. Mi working on that. So, you know, we doing what we do. But, uh, you know, we gave a little. The Last Soldiers, real cool, energetic group. Really, really enjoyed talking to them. Um, they followed me on the gram. I've been tapping in with them every now and then today. It's cool. Um, yeah, yeah, we saw, we went back and, and saw the clip a bit, saw, saw a bit of a flirtation there. Hey, hey, <laughs> hey, hey, I'm just saying, I'm coming to Brazil. You're coming to Brazil. I'm, I'm, coming, to Brazil. <laughs> I'm coming to Brazil, I'm just saying. But, you know, tonight is all about you, you guys, the famous duo, the best talented couple that Brazil has ever seen. I'm going to put it out there because that's the way it's supposed to be. Oh, well, thank you, thank you. So, so... Uh, so let's go ahead and get into this just to find out a little bit of, about you and then we'll get into some personal stuff a little bit later. But, you know, how did you guys even start this? How did you guys meet? Okay. 
Like Portuguese was complicated. <laughs> Is that what he just said? Yeah. <laughs> See, I, I, I kind of get that because Portuguese sounds complicated. <laughs> okay, so a little bit about the work which you just touched on because you was doing a marketing and he was rapping at that time. You know, when you said he was rapping at the time, was he still in that group traveling or was he just doing. So at first it was all business. How did it change for y'all to get on the romantic side? I'm all in your business now. Uh, Friendship, which started with 
the music and the work. Okay. And then it just turned into friendship, getting to know each other. And then, you know, honestly, one day we just kind of realized that we were like hitting it off and, and flirting and, you know, and uh, we we both, we weren't at the time, I know he was single though for the longest time, he didn't want to deal with any of that, he was focused on his work, I, I was in the same way, you know, um, and we just, we didn't want that, but it just kind of happened organically, that's, and, that's cool. and we kind of just sat down and was like, you know, hey, like I'm feeling you, you feeling me, yeah, I'm feeling you, all right, so... <laughs> but no, obviously, he's like, it wasn't easy, no. He's like, it, it was it was a progress, you know, it, it was something that developed. Uh, so he said, you know, it, it wasn't easy. We understood things bit by bit about each other. And a lot of the time we were at a distance, right? Uh, because of our jobs and, and the locations we were at, right? Uh, I'm from Toronto, Canada. Ooh. So it was um, it, it was so much more about communication than anything else. So I think that kind of added some strength into what we have now, right? Definitely, definitely. Okay, so you mentioned you're from Toronto because you guys are kind of like on your own little 90 day kind of thing on the television show. So you're in Brazil. You were in Toronto. So obviously you had to be a conversation on, you know, if you guys were going to continue this, where were you going to be? How did he win? Right. Right. Obviously, yeah, that, that crossed our mind. I'm just going to translate here. Um, yeah, I'm going to be in Toronto. So, um, you know, uh, we definitely had that conversation. We went back and forth on on the where do we want to be at? Right. Uh, because honestly, for us to be together, it wasn't going to be an easy an easy feat. There was going to be a lot of obstacles, and it wasn't just you know with the governments, right? Because they always like to make things complicated. It's all of about course. The, Right, dollar dollar bill. Uh, right, but it, it's it's the friends, the family, the the understanding, right? Uh, because we had this separate thing going on from what we had going on in our countries. So you know, after a while, we got engaged and everything, and then you know, me to go to my family and friends and be like, "Hey guys, so <laughs> we decided that." I'm gonna I'm gonna go head over to Sao Paulo and start living there now. Now that must have been a little scary because uh, Canada and Brazil, Mars, right? Venus. <laughs> uh, wow. Okay, so you're both in Sao Paulo now, living the life, getting the suntans. Now you want to do this album. So what was the motivation? How did it come about that you guys started wanting to work on doing the music thing? Because if you were doing marketing. Know. Um, so with the album, you know, I've always told Masao, he was part of the group Jury Popular, then part of the group Cluster Rua, but, you know, when we were working together musically, I said to him, I'm like, you need to go solo, and a lot of other professionals, as well in the industry, have said that to him many times, that he really needs to go out on his own, and, and that was the start of it, he was going to do his solo album, uh, Eli Kero Sebe, uh, Cook on the Sable say uh and say silver seal primero album uh solo sol solzino solitero uh uma, uh desde quando eu lancei o, o saí com o júri popular né de 98 para cá eu produzi o um segundo álbum e 2001 para cá sempre tive o pensamento num 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 álbum só Eu falo da Sim, você volta para a Rua e depois você volta para fazer mais? Vou ter como livro de rua e depois não queria fazer o solo. Não queria, porque isso era um sonho, era só um sonho fazer o solo. Aí depois é, eu falei, vou decidir fazer o solo. Fui, fiz o solo e coloquei essa ideia na minha cabeça fixa e acreditei que você precisa acreditar 
e aí nós temos solo de secar e não está indo muito bem. Okay, so you said, you know, like when I was a jury popular, like here over in Brazil, you're going to see a lot of rap groups. Okay. It's way more popular than seeing an individual artist. Okay. Uh, they have force, right? It's almost like not just groups or crews, they're gangs, right? Uh, so you'll see a lot of that here. So the mentality is, you know, uh, he was part of Jury Popular, that was a group. And then later, Cliff Rua, he said he always thought about doing it alone, but it's kind of a, just a dream because you need to have that kind of finance and that kind of dedication, all that kind of stuff. And he really wanted to take that jump and that leap to go in that direction, different from what the mainstream was at the time. Uh, and then, you know, I guess I, I came over here and kind of gave that that push. You were that good woman that lifted up your man kind of thing. I get it. That's right. That's right. We got to elevate each other. Ela fala, eu acho que eu sou bem você por fazer, não sei fazer. Oh, então, tá bom. Bom, aqui no Brasil sempre existe grupo de rap, né? Não cantor solo. Sim, eu falo isso. E aí, quando você vai para o solo, isso começa de vaga. Aí, aí, vai. Uh, so pretty much what I just said about the, the mentality of the group and then doing it on your own and kind of it's the direction upwards and honestly with us I was just helping him with the marketing like I used to do way back in the day when we worked together um, I was not going to be a participant in this I wasn't even going to sing none of that kind of stuff like that happened in the studio by fault with our producer. Okay. Um, and then it just kind of went from there. Okay, so now I'm going to start with Masao on this one, but it's the same question towards uh, you. So let's go ahead. So as a couple working together in this music thing, what is a pro and what's a con to that? Because I can only imagine y'all got some good arguments, you know, on depending uh, on what it is. Okay, we, we got to be honest about this. Because he's not honest with us. Okay, okay. And no, we get us everything. Como você sente trabalhar junto comigo, se ele se ele esposa com com música? Eu não quero você ter positivo e negativo. Então você como você quer começar com negativo? <laughs> positivo que você quer? Okay. Negativo. Na boa, negativo. Negativo. Oh, okay. So you're gonna start with the negatives. All right, vamos. Uh, what's <laughs> up? I'm praying for you, bro. Muito dia, muito trabalho, muita organização, porque eu nunca tinha visto isso América, Canadá, é, diferente, Brasil terceiro mundo. É, então, quando você tem muita organização, muita disciplina, determinação, né, que vem de fora para cá, você se sente um pouco melhor, mas cansativo também. Fugo Curto, you try to sorry, of course, so they continue on with that. Okay. Uh, so I'm just telling you, hold on there. I'm going to translate so we can continue. Um, so pretty much he said, like, one of the negatives is, you know, being accustomed to the, the organization level. Um, it's a different kind of discipline uh, that I wanted to bring to the table, and he had a different kind of flow. Uh, and he's not organized. So... That is something where we butt heads a lot. Uh, we and are he's like, that was a thing for me. He's like, I didn't like that. We are <laughs> we are never organized. <laughs> Ever. <laughs> we got it all we got it all up here. <laughs> yeah, I went I've been through it. <laughs> okay, so uh, now give me a pro on that one. Uh, different approaches uh, 
Yeah. Uh, so for us to join together, you know, he, he's writing out these poems and these words are beautiful, uh, but there was no, no kind of rhyme or rhythm, right? Okay. Uh, so I kind of came in and tried to show him how to do that kind of like, uh, you know, count the syllables or, or do the rhymes, the more theoretical approach uh, to get some kind of hook going. Um, <laughs> let me tell you, we've been sitting in our backyard writing enough music together, and I'm sure our neighbors had a blast listening to us. <laughs> Just, you know, going off on each other, having a few beer to relax a bit too. <laughs> but, you know, positive. Uh, positive. Positive. Okay, so. Como artista, como artista. Eu estou realizado porque eu aprendi disciplina na organização, como pronunciar melhor as palavras, como gravar um álbum solo com uma pessoa que já trabalhou com vários artistas, que é a Jenny, que é a Jenny G, e ela me ensinou muita coisa. Eu só decidi, comecei a gravar o álbum com ela, eu comecei a escrever e gravar o álbum com ela, só fui crescendo, crescendo. E eu agradeço muito ela aqui e falar a ela que ela é muito importante porque tem um segmento aí e eu só aprendi com ela. Eu só agradeço. Oh, <laughs> uh, so he said, you know, at the same time, those negatives, they end up being a positive because I learned a lot from her. I, I learned a lot of things that I didn't know and now my game has improved. Uh, he was like, you know, I, I've learned things in the studio with her. She's worked alongside other people in the past. And he said, you know, when I see how she she thinks in the studio or, or, or does uh, kind of the editing uh, production, the creative direction, I guess. He's like, you know, I learn a lot. I, I hear the ideas I never thought of or I think of this and it gets my brain going. You know, okay. it gets me flowing. So uh, that's... Oh, thanks. <laughs> okay. I love you. <laughs> you, yeah, you, you smart man, <laughs> smart man. So, 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 <laughs> so, so, Miss Jenny, uh, is that are you guys sharing the same pro and con? Did you have the same kind of issue in pros and cons on this work relationship kind of thing? You know, for me, it, it definitely. I, I don't think that part for me was a con. I knew there was going to be learning curves for me too, because you know I have. I, I don't know if you know, like if you're into horoscopes or anything. I'm I'm pretty. I'm not like obsessed, but you know I'm a Virgo, and we're we're pretty organized and tunity, and you know he's helped me so much to relax, go with the flow, see things in a different creative light. We actually did one of our songs, Malandraja. Yeah. Uh, more with his um, approach. Okay. And I think it turned out absolutely fantastic. One of my favorite songs on the album. And that's because his approach was um, a bit more uh, flexible, right? Mine is a bit more theoretical. Uh, so that, that was cool for me. The only negative I would have is it's a man's world. It's a man's world over here. Uh, so yeah. when you're going from the studio to talking music or getting your voice heard, especially when your Portuguese is not that great, like it's not bad, people understand me, but when they don't want to listen, like you're cut off. And to like keep trying to keep trying to get your voice heard and being a woman, like that's one negative for me that I, I had to find different ways to kind of get past that and keep my cool. Okay. Uh, because like, I, I come from Toronto, Canada. Women over there, they're business women, they're negotiators, they're, you know, they're, their voices are, are heard without question. Uh, but over here, there's a lot of mentality where you don't know anything. You, you have these, you know nothing. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? So, and it just, wow. it blows my mind. I need to remember I'm in a different culture and there's a different kind of uh, understanding in that way that I've tried 
to, to get past and, and try to keep real with myself, right? Okay, okay, I get that. Um, so that would be my positive too because it, it has helped me to grow uh, and learn how to deal with different types of people, right? Okay. Which is good. Yeah. Because you're not always going to work with people that are easygoing, right? Never, like, ever, 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 ever. Okay, so as an artist right now, it's already difficult because of this pandemic thing that the world is going through with COVID-19. But how is the situation over there in Brazil with this situation? He's like, right now we're in a red zone. Actually, when this all started, like everything closed up back in March, in April of last year. Mm -hmm. uh, and it wasn't until around, I think, November that they started to go, they have it in these colored zones, so confusing. But I think they have it in a, a green or blue zone. But then it went right back to, we're back in a red zone. But even during that whole time, it's almost a year now, uh, there's been no shows. Uh, only things online. Okay. Uh, now, of course, you've got those bars and, and clubs where they, they have these garage doors, these metal gates, like metal doors that slide down, mm -hmm. right? Like a garage. And people will tap on the door and, you know, open it up and you see the lights flashing underneath and everything and someone will slide in. So there's like not legitimate things happening, which is not good. Um, yeah. But no, everything, everything shut down. Uh, absolutely everything and it's been hard it's been hard for everyone in this music industry over here from DJs to dancers to singers to to the filmmakers like it's rough okay so but during this whole zoning red zone thing you guys were able to shoot a video and I've seen parts of it that's kind of look cool so you know when you was in this red zone shooting this video how did that go and what precautions did you guys take what was that like so I think it's a base of Risa Zona Vermelo, a news video you can respond to that. To the main. Okay. Uh, so, you know, we actually uh, planned this video right before the government was hitting that red zone. They were going to hit everything on that Monday. Okay. And we were doing everything that weekend that we planned like months in advance. Um, so obviously we became prepared, right? Mm -hmm. uh, we kept it small, we kept distances, we, we protected ourselves when we could, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. uh, we had one shoot in the street and one shoot in the studio. So everyone was real good about that. Um, but uh, what did I want to say about the, oh, uh, the dancers that you, you met with yesterday, you know, after working so hard in the heat, we wanted to we wanted to celebrate with them and, and, and give them that Brazilian dish and and some drinks and everything after the shoot, you know, to cool off and, and just relax. And our buddy Junior, which when you come over, you're gonna hit his restaurant. Okay. Um, we we booked out the whole restaurant for them so that we could have that moment, but the government hit him up before that and said, Look, you can't serve people past this time because we're going into the red zone. So he called us up just before the shooting was like, hey guys, like I can't host you anymore. Uh, and we kind of scrambled a bit, but then he came through for us. And he was like, you know what? Like my family's got a place nearby. We'll set up the backyard. We'll set up some tables and stuff and we'll just have a private thing there for you guys. Okay. And you know, but we just kind of hit that, that part there. But I mean, now, can't do anything like it's it's so difficult to, to get anything done depending on the numbers like I, i'm sure it is over there right yeah it's, it's horrible over here we go up and down in and out we get on restriction get off restriction we got pr private parties that you got to call somebody to get the address to it's 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 pretty much the same but uh, right so you guys got private parties too yeah, oh yeah uh, they say uh, producer that you press this about longer use a garage 
Ah, o Cina chegou aqui, né? E eu acho que você tem que começar o show. Ah, uh, um yeah, he said the, the vaccine's come here now. Uh, so people, there, well, there's people who are not pumped about it and people who are uh, for different reasons. I'm sure, same thing over there. Um, but he said, you know, they're rolling it out. So he said by the time of like August, everyone should be good to go. So September, we should we should be back at doing events. But right now it's carnival here. Yeah, I'm, I'm depressed. <laughs> I'm yeah, de there, I'm there's, depressed. there's no carnival right now. It's like just, just online shows, which, you know, props to the DJs out there trying to do their thing and online and everything, doing their, their carnival looks, you know, our... Our friend Maria Alcina is, yeah. is trying to carnival elementals. Yeah. 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 He's saying it's only live. It's only online. Like, what, what, what we're doing. Okay. Okay, so yeah. in talking to you guys right now, I'm kind of feeling that you guys really get involved in your music. So I'm assuming that on the editing of this fantastic video that we're waiting for on the 19th to be given to the world, you know, how was that with you guys? How involved were you in the editing process of the video? Yeah, they can also be so uh uh Andre Lucarelli, uh editor, uh producer, um uh como is uh what's the boss He's gonna he's gonna respond first to your question and then I'm going to, to finish off again. Quando eu conheci ele, há muitos anos atrás, eu vi ele filmar, mas ele não era grande, grande ainda, ele começou a crescer e nós já tínhamos se falado muito pouco, não se conhecia assim, né, mas... Sim, mas quando chamamos eles para fazer o vídeo, nós chegamos, ele convidou a gente para chegar na edição, né, ele falou, ó, vocês vêm com a gente, Chega aqui no meu escritório, a gente vai no estúdio, a gente vai dedicar junto. Né? Isso foi muito importante porque ele é um bom profissional, um excelente profissional, Andrelo Parelli. Né? E ele se deu a oportunidade é, de fazer uma edição junto com ele, pois os artistas de rap, de rock aqui no Brasil, não faz. Eles gravam, nem vê a, a imagem e deixa com, com o diretor. <risos> Isso é muito louco. Então, vem pra cá e a gente filma junto e já era. So he's like, you know, I, I've known his work for a while and I've seen him him grow, this director, Andre Lopirelli. And he said, you know, this guy's a professional, he's a pro. And not only that, but he was like, come, come to my studio by the beach, right? He's like, I've got an office, you guys sit with me, we'll, we can do the editing together if that's what you would like, you know, I'm open to that, everything. Uh, he thought it was great because we like being involved in that editing process, yeah, right? right. Uh, and then he said, you know, a lot of a lot of artists here, especially hip hop artists, they they kind of do the filming and then they just leave it all to to the director and, and they don't really have much interest in that process. So uh, it was probably different for for the director this time and and for us as well. Uh, honestly, I I thought he was so professional. I loved editing with him. Like we had some good laughs. Honestly, seeing some of the some of the footage play back and everything, and even trying to figure out that chrome key technology, like, damn, that the the, the green screen and everything, yeah, yeah. that you know, you got to think layers, you got to think creatively how you're going to approach, uh, you, you know, your objective. Like together, we all learned a lot okay. through that editing process, but he he kept true to us in in our image and what we wanted and. You know, it was a good time. Plus, I mean, we got to be by the beach. We had our, like, lunch down there, you know? Real hard I life. I can't complain, right? Yeah, real hard life. Okay, so... But it was, like, long hours. It was long hours. We were working with him from, like, 8 in the morning, and we left at, like, 10 at night. Ooh. Ooh. For two days straight, yeah. It was, wow. it was good, though. Wow. Okay, so you've seen the final cut. You've seen what is going to be given to the world on the 19th. Jenny D, what is your thoughts on the video? Honestly, I I remember doing the concept mm -hmm. and seeing it now. It like for me, I 
I'm I'm proud of that. Okay. I'm proud of what everyone's going to see. Like it's it's nothing like what you've got here in Brazil going on with music videos for rap or hip hop. You know, uh, to be honest, I get my inspiration from. You know, I love Missy Elliott. I love her creativity. You know, she's so fly. She's so good. Uh, and that is the kind of feel that we wanted to have just something a bit more, more interest, more, more pop, more, more flash, you know? Okay. Uh, and, and I think, I think everyone who participated and collaborated, it all kind of mixes and joins together in this like unity, which shows that like all these different elements of hip hop, including like Maria Alcina, who has an amazing story and in history with Masao, yet she's in a completely different area of music and, and genre, and she's still rocking out to to hip hop and stuff. And like much respect to her, you know, she's 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 up there, you know, but like wow, like I think every everyone who got to see it, we just got good reviews. Like everyone was like this is just, I mean, no one thought it would be that way. And, and big respect to Andre Liberelli because he did some magic with that too. I, I think it was awesome. And do you want uh, the South's opinion on yes, the, of the video? I sure do. Como se acha sobre esse video? Esse video criativo, criativo, só em bolo de gente, de equipe, as coisas junto com o senhor Zulu Parelli. Eu acho um vídeo genial porque isso traz, traz o hip hop no Brasil que não, que não tem ainda hip hop pop que é popular é, tem um arranjo muito poderoso do Chiquinha um artista de 1930 uma cantora chamada Carmen Miranda que foi para a América fez muito sucesso e através da Maria Alcina que regravou esse trabalho é, muito importante com a sua estrutura América e Brasil. E a, a Maria Alcina, ela tem 50 anos de carreira e ela já rodou, foi para a América, Brasil e outros países. Então, esse vídeo, ela tem esse vídeo, tem muita informação, muita cultura, muita cultura brasileira, né? E fala muita informação. Eu acho fantástico. All right, so uh, he was saying like this, this music video has so much culture, so much Brazilian culture. You've got, you know, the elements of hip hop, which is like a Brazilian style, but you also have Maria Alcina. Maria Alcina has been working in the music industry here for 50 years. Like she's got a story here, man. Like no joke. And not only that, but she did a cover of someone who is Brazilian. I, I don't remember the name, but she traveled to America, did like a huge show, and this is Carmilla. by like, uh, Carmilla? Carmi Melanda. Uh, and she did this, this music, Alô, Alô, Miss Fonji, Alô, Alô, Miss Fonji. If you think like, if you think back to like, I'm thinking like 1930s, 1940s, right? And if she's got like this, this fruit hat and everything like that, like this is a style of music, like back in the day, Brazilian style, later on, uh, Maria Alcina did her own version and it blew up here so she actually does a cameo in our music video and this is her mark, her song and she says those words in our music video which you'll see how it ties in okay. um, the alo alo Hispanji, which is like you know the telephone answer yeah. right yeah. Uh, but it, it worked out really well in, in her support and in placing her mark on that in a hip hop scene. He's like, it was fantastic. Yeah. He thinks the video is fantastic. Yeah. Well, I, 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 I can't wait to see it because I haven't even got to see the little sneak peek of this video, so I'm having to wait like the whole no, world. I haven't forgotten. I haven't forgotten. I'll be sending it your way before a sneak peek. Yeah, see, that's video. what so I love. You're hooked up. We've got but, but you know, I, I just want to say, uh, I just want to say it, it's great talking to you guys. I, I do appreciate the time. Uh, we kind of started this relationship last year, sometime in connections, and then we talked some business. But uh, just to let it be known, you know, I don't think all the world knows, but Black Dot Entertainment is bringing Shadow Promotions, Hype Radio, and On the Real Videos to Brazil, and that's in connection with you. So 
This show, Bate Un Popo, Un Popo, Bate Un Popo, Bate Un Popo, I'm, I'm getting there, you know, is, is a whole different connection that artists here and artists there will be able to capitalize on because it's a whole different platform. And only you right. in Brazil and only me here in Northern Cal, we're the only ones doing this. So if you are an artist out there, let it be known, the loyalty between us two, three, is it, it can't be broken. And uh, we're coming to Brazil to act a fool. We're going to take this whole con Northern Cali connection to Brazil by storm. That's right. We want to make sure everything is, is you know, we want to break those boundaries, right? Right. We want to bring you guys over here. We want to go over there. We want to do collaborations, all that kind of stuff. You know, there, there's so much opportunity, and, and the more force we have, the more people walking with us on this, this is uh, going to be phenomenal. Oh, yeah. I, I'm so looking forward. And don't worry, when you come over here, we'll teach you the important words to know. That's all I and need. The place to go. That's all I need. I just need the important stuff. But hey, once again, because I know it's it's got to be late because there's a little five hours difference here. It's got to be late yeah. over there by now. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and sign off with you guys. But before I do that, let me just go ahead and say thank you from the bottom of my heart. I do appreciate the support you were giving me there. I appreciate that you in the beginning of this reached out to talk about promotional in the music in the business because even here it's hard to get people to do that. So. From the bottom of my heart, thank you for everything that you're doing, done, no, and, and will do. Thank you. Uh, no, honestly, thank you, Shash. Thank you for everything. You, you're you really supporting us over here with this video. Uh, you know, much respect. Uh, you're, you've given everyone an opportunity uh, to, to tell their story on your show, as well as kind of just talk a little bit about our video that we're doing. And uh, that's releasing this, this Friday, the 19th, right? On... Misawa Fischel YouTube channel. Uh, and I guess tomorrow you've got the next part of your series, right? Right. right. Yeah, I think that's uh, Mr. Ronaldo, I do believe. That's right. Yeah. DJ Reginaldo. DJ Reginaldo is hitting the scene on on this series tomorrow night. Yeah. So that's going to be interesting. You're going to hear about all that side of the music biz here. And, and he's he's a player here in the gallery. So that's going to be that's going to be a good show. That's just, a, that's just another way of saying we got this on lock. We got this. <laughs> but uh, like I said, thank you for calling in, and we're going to get this going, and uh, I'm going to let you guys go ahead and get some rest. But uh, as Miss Jenny D says, bye for now. I love it. Bye for now. Bye for now. Bye for now. Bye for now. And yes, bye for now. That's something I picked up from uh, my mom. TMJ? TMJ. I got that. TMJ. Yes. All right. Bye, y'all. I'll be safe. Bye. Bye.